Whether you are a football manager, content creator, or you just play the game in your spare time, you may have noticed during heavy fixture periods and transfer windows that your game can stutter and cause, whether it be your stream, your recording, or just watching YouTube videos whilst you're playing the game, come to a grinding halt. Well, I'm here to save the day and tell you exactly how step by step to cure that with a little fix I've come up with. And the best part is it doesn't matter whether you play the game via Epic, Steam, Game Pass or any other way, as long as it's legal, obviously. It doesn't matter, it will work for all of those. So come join me over the other side, that side, this side, doesn't really matter which side, and we'll go through it together. In late 2020, I put a video out on Twitter that explained how you set the core affinity against Football Manager to try and prevent it from bogging down everything else that you're doing, whether it be streaming or whatever else that you've got running in the background. It works, it still works, that's fine if you are, you've kind of got used to that, but there are quite a few people, having spoken to a number of other creators recently, that kind of tend to forget, and it's only when someone mentions it to them, if they're watching their stream or watching their videos, oh, there's a bit of choppiness here and there and everywhere, um, that they end up applying it, because you have to apply it manually each time you start the game, and it's easy enough to forget. You know, we are human after all. But in 2022, having been reminded of people still having the same issues because of the optimization that Football Manager have applied to the game, which is great in itself, but can be a bit problematic if you tend to do a lot of other things whilst you are playing Football Manager, I now have a solution for you that you will apply once and then, as long as you use the shortcut that you create as part of this tutorial I'm going to show you, it will work every single time and you won't have any issues as long as you follow the steps that I'm going to present to you now. So before we get started, there are a few prerequisites. You need to know where Football Manager 2022 is installed. You also need to know where your Football Manager 2022 save games are stored on your computer. And finally, you need to start off with Football Manager 2022 open. Go to the download in the description and download the zip file called FM Core Affinity. Step two. Now this is the bit that some of you will be quite familiar with if you've been running this fix for the past 18 months that I'd sort of told you about it before previously. So what you need to do is open up Task Manager if you don't already have it open and then click on the Details tab. Scroll down until you find fm.exe in the list, which is there in my list, it's quite far down. Right click then go to Set Affinity, and then it will show you a list of processes. Now, if you, are, if you start FM each time and just do it as part of your process, you will ha obviously have some of these unticked. If you don't run it already, then all of them will be ticked. Now, I have a 12-core, 24-thread processor. Doesn't matter to you. You may have, you may have four. CPU, so you'll go up to, from CPU 0 to CPU 3. Some of you may have 8, some of you may have 12. There are loads of different permutations. The whole point of me putting this guide together is to make it nice and easy for you to understand what the steps you need to do, not necessarily why you need to do them, because I don't want to explode people's heads at this point. All you need to do at this point is note down how many processors you have. So go down to the final, or scroll down as far as this box will go for you, and then note down. So it starts at CPU 0, so you need to make sure that whatever this final number is at the bottom, you add 1 to it, okay? So for me, it's 24. So that's all you need to do. You can now go and close Football Manager. So write down that number. Whatever that number was, write it down. This isn't a magic trick. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to ask what card I'm holding later on. Step 3. Go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the fmcoreaffinity.zip to and right click extract all and now what you want to do is copy and paste that folder you've just extracted and place it into your football manager 2022 like save game directory or where that is usually stored if you don't know where that is ah see extra step but it's helpful double click and open that folder you will find a default football manager 2022 paths.txt in, within that folder, open, right, double click and open it, it will either open in Notepad or whatever Notepad 
uh, program you use. I use Notepad++. You can just right click, select edit, and that will open up in standard Notepad. Either or, I'm showing you both of them on the screen just so you can see. But within that, I have, show, I, I have listed the default path for where the fm.exe is stored, the default path in, for Epic where the fm.exe is stored, and also the default path for where your Football Manager save data will be. Obviously, you can't copy and paste this and pop it into the Explorer and it will find it for you because you need to know what your Windows username is, but it's enough of a hint to tell you where you need to go. So, now you know that, we can go back, copy, paste, and go into our Sports Interactive slash Football Manager 2022 folder and paste that FM Core Affinity folder we've just extracted into the Football Manager 2020 folder. As I said at the start of the video, if you are playing the Game Pass version of Football Manager 2022, this will absolutely still work. I just can't give you a default path because it just isn't really one with Game Pass games. So you just need to go and find for yourself where you've installed Football Manager 2022 to. Step four then. You did remember to write that number down, right? You did. Good. Now, if you haven't already done so, open the folder that you've just copied into the Football Manager 2022 di save game directory and right click on CPU core affinity decimal numbers.txt and select edit. Within this text file is the number of CPU cores you have available to you and then a corresponding decimal number to the number of CPU cores you activate within Task Manager. Now that sounds like a lot of words. It does to me. All you need to know is that you need to copy and paste the corresponding number next to the number of cores you wrote down. For example, I have 24 cores in my processor, so I'm interested in this 4095 number. Likewise, if you have an 8 core CPU or you wrote down 8, you're interested in this number here, 15. You need to apply it to your situation. Don't just throw in 24 cores because that's how many I have and that's how, I, how many I've shown you because that will not work for you. I cannot stress that enough. I don't want to see any comments that say, I put in this number and it doesn't work. Well, because I've just told you, don't unless it corresponds to the number that you wrote down earlier. Now what you need to do is go back to the FM Core Affinity folder and carefully right click and select edit on the set FM core affinity ps one do not click open on this file. Lots of stuff in here. You get to ignore all of it. The only thing that you're concerned with is this section here that I'm highlighting between the two hashtags where it says enter number here. Go back to CPU core affinity decimal numbers txt and take the number that you need to take. So I will take 4095 and right click, copy, and then within this enter number here, I will paste that 4095. Okay, once you've done that, save, which you can do by file, save, or control and S if you're using a keyboard shortcut, but make sure that you've got your number locked in there. Step five, go back to the FM Core Affinity file, Look for run fm.bat and do not click open or double click on it. Right click and edit with notepad or edit. Okay, now you need to do two things within this file before we save it. So first of all, you need to enter the full path for fm.exe here in the area that I'm highlighting. And then you also need to enter the full path for your FM Core Affinity set FM Core Affinity PS1. If you don't know the paths for those, then again, hopefully you've already got them open. But if you haven't, or you don't know where they are, or you've closed the windows, use the default Football Manager 2020 paths.txt that I've provided for you to find where they are. So, because I have them prepared already, all I need to do is click in this bit of gray space here, and it will highlight the path for where Football Manager or FM.exe is installed on my computer. This path will not necessarily be the same for you though. So do pay attention to that. And copy, 
go to runfm.bat within your notepad editor and then what you want to do is paste and then after you've pasted the path add a slash fm.exe okay so what yours should look something like that so step b for step five is you need to add the rest of the path for where the set fm core affinity ps1 that you've already just edited is stored so go back to your fm core affinity folder and go back one folder so you should be in the the standard football manager 2022 sports interactive where your game saves are stored directory click in the gray space right click copy and then replace the section here that says enter full path for and then right click paste and you should then have a path that looks something along the lines of what i've got highlighted here once you've done that then file save almost all of the hard work's done now so step six go back into the fm core affinity folder then what you want to do is right click on run fm.bat and select create shortcut this is now created a shortcut what you want to do is then right click rename call it fm22 enter and it's now called fm22 next what you want to do is right click on the shortcut you've just created and renamed to fm22 and click on properties then in the next window next to where it says run change it from normal window to minimized and then what you want to do is click the change icon this is an extra step that just makes it a bit nicer and a bit more obvious what thing you're opening upon clicking this shortcut click change icon you'll get a warning message just click ok and then there are two ways you can do this you can either manually browse to the uh, football manager 2022 installation location or you can go to runfm.bat that you've just been editing assuming you've still got it open and right click copy that path and paste that into that box then click enter and then select the fm22 logo and then click ok you can now see it's changed to the fm22 logo click apply click ok finally for step six right click copy on the fm22 shortcut you've just changed the icon for go to your desktop and click paste that will paste your newly created icon onto your desktop step seven then is really testing it make sure it actually works so uh, if you haven't already got it open make sure you open up task manager and go to the details tab ready for when football manager opens then go to the desktop icon or shortcut that we've added to your desktop double click and you'll see a command prompt window open but minimized and then football manager will open so what we'll, we'll we'll wait for around 20 seconds or so for this to run through and shortly you will see this little window at the bottom this command prompt window at the bottom it will close itself which it's just done so then we go to our details tab in task manager right click on fm.exe go to set affinity and as if by magic it's done it all itself so I'm now set to only use half of the cores of my CPU towards Football Manager. That's it. I don't have to do it anymore ever again. I, as long as I start the game using the icon I've just put on my desktop, I'll never have any problems with setting the core affinity ever again. And the best thing is, because it only affects the game when you run it from that shortcut, if you want to run experiments or if you ever just want to give football manager all of the cores that your cpu has you can just start it from another shortcut on your desktop i always have a shortcut in my task bar or directly from steam directly from epic and all of that good stuff if you do have any queries or questions please drop them in the comments section and i will try to answer as many of them as possible and of course if you see anyone else who's suffering with these stuttering issues whether it be on their videos in their live streams 
or just around a mate's house, send them to this video and, and share the love. You can subscribe here by pressing this button or down here there's a, a video that either me or YouTube thinks you should watch. So go and do that. Bye for now.